Welcome to Andy's How I Did It channel. It's so easy to terminate your own Cat5e and Cat6 cables, and today I'm gonna to show you how you can do it yourself with a few simple tools that I'll link in the description below. This is especially helpful if you wanna run your own wired security camera system in your home or office, or if you just want the fastest connectivity for your network. Let's get started. You're gonna to wanna to start by stripping away a couple inches of that sheath from the cable. I'm using a specific Klein stripping tool that works with coax and Cat6 cables and I'll link to it in the description below. Next up, you're just going to want to cut that little string that's included in the cable run. I'm using some Klein scissors to do that and then I'm going to start by separating the pairs of wires that are inside the Cat6 cable. There are four pairs in there for a total of eight wires and inside this specific type of cable from Monoprice, there's a divider that's plastic. Next up, we're going to take that sheath that we stripped off and use it to untwist all four pairs that are inside of the jacket. You may notice that the pairs are twisted at different lengths. This twist actually helps reduce crosstalk amongst the four pairs with the blue and stripe blue being twisted the tightest. Next up, we're just gonna take a fingernail and manually straighten each and every single one of the eight wires that are included in this strand. You may have noticed that I'm lining these wires up in a particular order. We're starting with the striped orange and then orange, and then we jumped over to the striped green, then solid blue, striped blue, then solid green, striped brown, and brown. You must line these up in this specific order so that you can put the Cat6 jack head on the wires. Once you get them lined up, you wanna take both fingers and sort of move the wires together to try and get them even straighter and flatter so that you can fit this head on. After that, you wanna take your same pair of scissors and go ahead and clip a straight edge off on all eight wires before you start slipping that plug on with the pins facing you. You can see as I slip this on that I'm pushing the wires all the way through the jack out to the other end and then I'm pushing the sheath of the cable inside the plug itself just a little bit. This is so that I can put it in the crimp tool and cut the tips of the wires off using the razor edge that's in this Klein crimping tool that I'm using. Now that you've got a good tight crimp and you've got all of your ends cut off the plug flush, next you're going to want to take a tester and test both ends of the cable to make sure that the continuity is good across the cable and that you've got connectivity across all eight pins correctly. I put links in the description below to all the equipment and parts that I use to make this cable. We do a lot of these How I Did It videos, and if you like this kind of content and found value out of it, please hit that like and subscribe button, and we'll do our best to publish more. If you have time, check out some of these other videos that you may be interested in. Thanks for watching.